Hey everybody, this is Growing Poisonous Nightshades Part 2. Uh, you can see one of my Datura Anoxia plants. Uh, the plant itself is still small, it's a baby, but it's got a bloom on it right now. Um, and you can also see uh, Datura has been blooming. Got some thorn apples on it very poisonous but beautiful and uh, got some other plants over there and I don't know how well you can see it all those are nightshades and down in the way back there there's another patch of them too now, most of those are peppers but still a nightshade so I got quite a few different types and working on uh, growing my collection. So, I'm at a point now where I'm getting ready to start some seeds. So, um, my blend here, this is uh, forest humus, uh, peat moss, uh, perlite, and I also put bat guano in it, um, and that stuff's not cheap. I, sometimes I wonder if I'm farming the wrong stuff. Build some uh, bat boxes or something. And uh, also, this stuff's not ground up yet, but I have a lot of uh, various bones and things like that from uh, deer hunting. And I grind that stuff up and make bone meal out of that. So I just figured I'd show you that. Um, so what I'll do, um, I'm, I'm going to pull the uh, seeds out of the f fridge and freezer and uh, start getting those potted up. Alright, so I've got my nights, nightshade seeds in here. I'm going to pull all of these out. They've been in for a month. Um, for two weeks I did the, uh, the soak on some of them and uh, then I just uh, let them let them do a normal uh, regular cold strat in the fridge and then these they were kind of frozen in there these have been in the freezer portion so we're gonna take all of these and get them in the dirt today and uh, Kind of looking forward to this. Close this back up. Alright. I'll, I'll worry about that later when I don't have my phone in my hand. Alright, so I've got uh, two trays filled. Um, I didn't mention that. Um, I got a, a whole tray here and you know a little bit in this one but I did a I, I mixed it 50 50 with sand so one to one with sand um, I got a big old pile of sand over uh, near the wood line uh, from when the house was built and uh, you know just try to pick out most of the coarse stuff too from uh, from the forest humus that I dug up out on, out near the driveway, and uh, basically, I've got um, you know a bunch of plant labels. I'm gonna try to s spread them out because I I don't seem to have a whole lot of them. Um, but this the trick that I learned is you don't want your plants to be too too deep or too shallow. Um, some of them call for like an eighth inch, but I, I normally try to get about, you know, anywhere from a half inch to a three quarter, and I, I do this usually, I just take the, uh, end of a sharpie, just like that, and kind of, kind of do that, because, uh, 
this stuff will fold fold in a little bit when I when I finally got the seeds in and I spray it and get it moist. So let me go ahead and take care of that and I'll continue the video. Alright, so let's see how well I can do this one-handed. But this is uh the white mandrake. Yeah, I got it. And, um, see, I, I got some markers, like I said, I was trying to stretch them out, but I also made a chart here, so I know what I got, whether they've been frozen, soaked, or just cold, and, uh, anyways, let me move around here, try to fish one of these out here, I'm not sure why this one this one seed has a little bit of red on it for some reason. If you can see that. But I'll just drop it right down there in the little hole. Cover it up a little bit. And spray it down. And you see it's uh, pretty well draining. And that's what I want. So, I'm going to go ahead and do all of that. I also uh, have some Solanum nigrum seeds, black nightshade. Um, man, that glare is horrible. Um, they call them popolo berries. The, the ripe berries are edible. Um, they're really sweet. They're pretty good. Um, but, uh, got my, like I said, I've got my chart. I'm going to put my dates and everything on that. Um, get all these started and then um, they are going to be inside in a sunny window um, so let me get get all the seeds put in and uh, and I'll, I'll keep rolling the video alright so temporarily I've got them in a little grow tent that I have one with a ghost pepper plant hydroponic plant there um, I'm not going to leave them in there because I've got a couple of hydro buckets that I need to fill at some point. Um, but this is, uh, probably good for seed germination. Um, I germinate seeds in it pretty often anyway, but currently it's a hydroponic tent. So, um, eventually if you look over there, I'm going to have a shelving unit on the left side where I'm going to have a lot of, uh, plants. So, thanks for watching.